All right, so let's talk about this legacy issue. I made a video about it before, but I want to broaden the scope. Uh, legacy issues are something that's not uh, just about uh, about college. Legacy, legacy issues are everywhere. Uh, the legacy issue of uh, of congressmen and senators, uh, who uh, congress people, uh, basically congress people. I got to stop using congressmen. Uh, anyways, the legacy issues is, uh, are those in politics, people having uh, legacies and getting, uh, and that also involves nepotism. Um, and. Uh, but the other one is media. You have Anderson Cooper, who is uh, who through his legacy uh, got a job uh, being a uh, TV uh, host for so-called news. Uh, you got Tucker Carlson of the Swanson uh, uh, legacy. He's got a job. On so so called uh, news, more like propaganda, uh, bigotry, racism, uh, misogyny, you name it. Um, but those are just a, a few uh, big names. And what it all boils down to is criminal action by those who feel that they are. Uh, that they are the elite, the ruling class, and that's the issue. This is uh, Meghan McCain. Again, another criminal uh, legacy action. You know, um, there. Uh, you know, just going back to the college issue. I mean, the the point is, is that you had Jared Kushner. We should never have gotten into uh, into a good college. You got Trump. We should never have gotten into a good college. You have Bush. Who should never have gotten into a good college. Um, it's cross sectional. You got all these people in high power positions, and they they have absolutely no. Right to be in there, they have no right to have been accepted into these so-called centers of uh, higher education when they did not have what meritocracy and capitalist uh, capitalistic meritocracy states. You should. Uh, it's based on the entire fundamental principles behind it is fake. It's a lie. It's a crime when, when your money and name get you entry into it. There is no basis for a meritocracy uh, capitalism. Let's face it, it's, it's cross-sectional. Let's face it, that it's uh, that the true uh, people who merit it, who have uh, demonstrated their, uh, their true merit and exceptionalism, are overlooked. And it's not just, you know, uh, it's not just uh, involving minorities. It's everybody who does not make a high six-figure fa salary and up. And the more legacy you have behind you, meaning more money or more fame, more name uh, recognition, then you have a leg up. That's criminal. It's not an opinion, it's criminal. And how many of us have a high enough six-figure salary to, uh, to uh, 
uh, to get our uh, ourselves or our kids into uh, into a, a uh, so-called prestigious establishment of ed high, higher education. That's not many of us, is it? And if you look at and if you look, and I'm, I'm going to suggest that you look it up. I think you're going to find that the percentage of us who are uh, hold high six figures is is astoundingly small compared to the vast majority of us who are robbed literally robbed of opportunity who are kept down and that goes across the entire spectrum whether you're black white hispanic Latin, whatever, whatever a label you want to place, it's a common assault on us. Which is why uh, having universal uh, college where everybody universally can get into, uh, into uh, higher education, where rather than, uh, then rather than, uh, you know, having to go uh, uh, have this narrow definition of legacy or or, um, or 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 even ability, because those uh, those things have been fixed as well. When you skew it, when you skew it, so that you have to take tests for merits that. And, and and your education previously or your economic status or and the fact that you have to work for work tirelessly and you have to uh, and you have all these stress you have stresses worries and everything else and social conflicts and everything that prevents you from focusing when the when you have entertainment and media saying you know Oh, uh, you have to be a doctor. You have to be a lawyer. You have to be a. Uh, uh, you have to be a scientist. You have to, you know. And, and and. Or a movie star, you know. It's like, uh, it, it focuses on on, on being famous, being wealthy, rather than focusing on growing, the intellect, finding avenues to teach and train others how to learn I understand when that all this crap about uh, free uh, health care and free college it's not free you know why it's not free and and why that wording is uh, the way they word it is is propaganda it's it's uh, sedition it is uh, it is a crime against us it's because we already paid for it in our sales taxes, in our uh, in our taxes for our land, uh, for our our homes and our land, for our uh, for our, our, our sewage taxes, our water taxes, our uh, in our uh, when we pay uh, uh, in the taxes that we pay when we. Uh, and we get a, a paycheck. We pay, already paid for it. And taxes continually go up and up and up. And so we are already paying, but getting none of the benefits. So the whole, the way the media and, and the politicians frame it, okay, is a crime against us because we already paid for it. And while they go around saying that we, they can't, uh, that they can't pay for this, they can't pay for that, and then place it in the framework of of how we're going to pay for it, when they when they're uh, literally putting their hands in the cookie jar and taking the money that we paid into it. Through multiple ways, pensions, uh, you name it, our taxes, our pensions, everything, 
and and they and they are stealing it from us and giving it to others a small minority of a vastly oceanic small minority of people and that's if the ocean was this big that's that's a crime against us that's why education doesn't work it's the way they train the uh, educators. It's the way they uh, skew uh, skew the uh, uh, re uh, rules, regulations in the in the textbooks uh, that they use, in the uh, studies that they use that they know is patently false. That <laughs> is all a crime against us. So, legacy has everything to do with propping up those who have stolen from us, who have cut away aspir uh, they have abolished aspiration, opportunity, and the way they frame this abolishing of aspirations and opportunity immediate. That is why media is fake. That is why they are an enemy of the people. That is why the politicians are fakes. Why they are an enemy of the people. Why corporations and the and the people that uh, fund the corporations, the ones that they call shareholders, why the wealthy people, like the Cokes, the Mercers, the Rothschilds, uh, the Vanderbilts, the uh, Rockefellers, uh, all the uh, all the big names, uh, Microsoft, uh, Bill Gates from Microsoft, uh, Warren Buffett, uh, George Soros, you name it. If they have a, if they have uh, uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, what's his uh, what's his name from uh, Tesla? Uh, Elon Musk. Uh, these are they're all the enemy of the people. The true enemy isn't Saudi Arabia. The true enemy isn't Yemen. The true enemy isn't uh, Venezuela. It's not China. It's not Russia. It's not the Muslims. It's not the Hindus. It's not uh, Christianity. True enemies are though uh, uh, are them, the ones that I just mentioned. Understand, we are in an undeclared war by the enemies I just spoke of. They have declared war on us, but we have not declared war on them. And we need to declare war on them. Because that's what it comes down to. And there are those who do make high six-figure salaries, who are not malicious, who just use the system without understanding And that's uh, uh, a good majority of them do not understand that because they have bought into it just like uh, because of ignorance. Just like uh, those in the conservative and the, and, and the right wing. There are many of them who have bought it in, into it through, uh, uh, through sheer ignorance because the ignorance has been promoted by the true enemy. And the true enemy are those who call themselves corporations, who call themselves politicians, who call themselves uh, media personalities, the wealthy. They are the true enemy. They are the seditious, treason, treasonous 
criminals. They are the organized crime. They are the organized crime bosses. That's what they are. They are robber barons, thieves, con artists. That is what we need to fundamentally understand. 